Hey guys, this is three important bass sounds in electronic music. The bass of a song is one of the most important parts of a song to get right because a weak bass could potentially make a weak sounding song. However, from now on, you'll never have to worry about having a weak song again because the three bass sounds that I'm going to teach you will almost always work. Let's jump into it. The first bass I'm going to show you how to make is a plucked sub bass. This type of bass is very versatile, and it's really quick and easy to make. Also, I'm gonna be using X for Serum to make all of my sounds today. If you don't have X for Serum, they have a demo version that you could try for free, or you could apply everything I do here to any other synth across the board. Let's go ahead and open up Serum, and when you're designing sounds, always make sure to start out by initializing the preset so all of the settings are defaulted. For this sound, we're gonna turn off oscillator A and turn on the sub oscillator. Then we're gonna grab the square wave here. And then we're gonna go over to the filter, turn on the filter, and then come down here to click S. And what we're doing is we're telling Serum that we're filtering the sub oscillator. That's what this S stands for. I like very tight filters, so I'm gonna use a filter with a higher number. So my filter that I'm using is a low pass 24 filter. I'm gonna pull down the cutoff to around 250 hertz. And then I'm gonna pull down the sustain and our sound is almost done. This is what our sound sounds like. And let's go ahead and write it under our guitar melody. And so with everything, it should sound like this. For this next bass sound, we're going to make a Reese bass, which is by far one of the most common bass sounds in all of pop and electronic music. Let's go ahead and open up Serum. So for this sound, of course, we're going to initialize the preset. We could use just the default waveform here, or we could go to analog and use MB Saw. Now what we're going to do is we're going to increase the unison. So now our sound should sound like this. But here's where it gets really, really cool. We're gonna deepen up the sound by turning on the filter and make sure A is selected here. Then we're going to take a strong low pass filter, decrease the cutoff down to about 225 roughly. Actually, let's go ahead and increase that to like 290. And we should get this sound. And these, this type of bass is like easily one of the most filling sounds. So if you're ever struggling to fill out your mix, add a Reese bass and it'll fix all of your problems. All right guys, this final bass sound is a pure sub bass. Every producer on the planet should know how to make a pure sub bass. So a pure sub bass sound is generally made with a sine wave. They're those S-shaped, those sideways S-shaped squiggly lines. The reason they're the best for sub bass is because they have no sharp edges. Sharp edges on a sound wave creates high frequencies or creates more frequency. No sharp edges creates a pure tone. This is why people resort to using sine waves as sub bass tones. To get a sub bass, we're going to initialize the preset and all we're going to do is turn off the oscillator A and turn on the sub oscillator here. And just like that, we get a sub bass. And this bass sound sounds like this. Mind you, if you're on your laptop speakers or your phone speakers, you will not be able to hear this. You need some headphones like Apple earbuds or a good set of studio monitor headphones. The key to making your sub bass stand out is to come to the effects tab, click on the distortion, click post, and then we can really heat this sub bass up just by turning this drive knob. And now we have a strong sub bass. Let's go ahead and give this a listen. Thanks for 
watching this video, everyone. If you would like to learn more about every element of music production, whether it's melody writing, chord writing, mixing, mastering, come join me in my EDM bootcamp, which is not just a six-week course that teaches you all those things about music production, but it's also an entire back-end mastermind group where you can send me unlimited songs for feedback and ask me any music production question that you would like. If that sounds like something you're interested in, check out the link at the top of the description below and I'll see you in there.